Hey fans of high quality entertainment, I am with Glenn Kellaway from the basement. Yay! Glenn! Buddy Guy. Don't tell us about your channel. I got my name on I changed my name to Buddy Guy. Because you're you'll bore us to death. Uh yeah, check out his channel. It's great. Yeah, really. Please. It, it's really great. I only need like 30 or 40 subscribers to get to 2,000, Larry. Well, I'll see what you I think can do. You think out of your 42,000, that could get you could Unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to Glenn Kellaway from the yeah. next. Yeah, you won't miss 40 people. So what we did last time is we went over, like, I went over to Glenn's house and I picked five CDs and Glenn picked out five CDs. And for the past two weeks, we've been listening to them on and off. We're busy, though, aren't we, Glenn? Very busy. Oh. It's been very busy. So Glenn gave me, or no, I picked out from Glenn's collection, King Crimson Islands, Jethro Tull Benefit, uh, Jimi Hendrix Experience, Axis Bold as Love, uh, Procol Harum Grand Hotel, and Free Fire and Water, and my uh community i asked them last night oh what they would just for mine though not yours because i don't care what they thought of yours and they and 46 percent of 211 votes uh that's a lot they said 46 percent thought i'd rank Jimi hendrix number one and then 18 percent jethro tall and then 16 percent procol harem 14 percent King Crimson and seven percent free. Wow, interesting. Yeah. I think they're wrong. Yeah. Let's see. And what did it what did you should I could I say what I think you will sure. do? What do you think? I think you're a bit of a Jethro Tull freak these days. I'm going there, 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 there. I'm going benefit, Jethro Tull area like the most. Free. Brokel Harem, Jimi Hendrix, King Crimson. And that five that Larry gave me, Alice Coltrane, Journey to Sachidananda with Pharaoh Sanders. Sly and the Family Stone, Life. Boy named if I still don't understand why anybody would name a boy if what a stupid Elvis Costello title. Jane Sibbery, The Walking, and the legend himself, Alice Remastered. Cooper, Killer. Now some like you've heard Remastered this one before. With but, a live disc. Yeah, and you listen to the live disc. So are you including the live disc in your no. ranking? Okay. No. But I did listen to it. Yeah. So Number one is I'm predicting number one's yeah, gonna I be think this. I that. <laughs> number two is gonna be Alice. Uh number three is gonna be Sly and the Family Stone. That's gonna be four, and I don't think you like this one, although I love it. The walking. Okay. This is gonna be surprising to you, Larry. Okay, who's going first? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. So, yeah, it took me a while, but at first I did not like, as usual, you, you need to listen to an album more than once. This is the lesson we're trying to teach everybody. And at first it was going to, it's number five, and it was going to be like, I did not like this. It was boring and all that. But today I listened to it again and I kind of started to really appreciate it and like it. It is free, fire and water. Oh, yeah. Like the the bassist, what's his name? Uh, Fraser. Oh, yeah. Really uh, melodic, inventive bait. Like some of it's almost like lead bass work. And of course, Paul Rogers, his, his vocals. The songs are kind of... Paul Kosoff's great guitar. Yeah, but... And kind of like uh, not over, not really produced, like overproduced and all, right? It's very mm -hmm. sparse. Mm -hmm. And it's, I kind of started to like it more. So, you know, and I've always loved the song All Right Now. Uh, so, yeah, but it's number five, but I still enjoyed it. I would give this a, at, for now, a seven out of ten. But I liked it. Yeah, it's a good classic rock album, yeah. really. 
Okay, my number five. I knew it. <laughs> Gene Sibbery, The Walking. Larry, I got to give this as... So, let's go back to when Gene Sibbery was popular. I think it was the 80s, right? Yeah. Um, I did not care for her at all back then, but I thought my tastes have changed a lot, and she's well-respected, singer-songwriter, kind of quirky, which is interesting to me. And so I thought I would give it another chance, but I like it just as much as I did back then, which is not not at all. <laughs> I, okay. I could only listen to this twice. The first yeah. time I listened yeah. to it, I went, I'm not liking this, but I got to give it another chance. Yeah. And I just didn't like it. No. I don't, it's, she's just not for me. Yeah. I don't like her voice. I don't like her songs. <laughs> I just don't, I'm sorry. Okay. Not in my wheelhouse at all. All right. Okay. Okay. And I'll re I'll give it a two out of ten just because yeah. You know, okay. My fault. Now I picked it. Now, as I told Glenn earlier, this was number one for mo most of the two two weeks until probably today when I was listed all of the albums one more time. Oh, King Crimson Islands. I really like that. It's a great album. Yeah, there, there's, but there's, I don't know, there's just parts of it that I really love and kind of waiting, like you're kind of waiting, like there's this one guitar riff and it doesn't last long, but it's like, oh my God, this guitar riff is just the best. You know, uh, the star of that album is for me is Mel Collins, the guy who plays the saxophone. Yeah, and yeah, the it was really that, good. He's, yeah. he's like the song and, Islands, he plays like about a five minute yeah. solo that absolutely. Yeah, I would beautiful. buy this sometime. I did, I did really like it. Uh, I love um, it. My second favorite Crimson album. And I did not know, like if you, if you told me, I wouldn't believe it that uh, Boz Burrell, who, used, who was in Bad Company later on as the mm -hmm. bassist, he's the singer. Yeah. I didn't know that. But yeah, this is, yeah, like it's a kind of album you. I don't think you'd ever get tired of it. You just you pick something new out of it every time. It's not as what I call chaotic as a lot of Cream yeah. Crimson stuff gets. It's more melodic and. Ladies uh, of the Road is my favorite. I believe. Oh yeah, Islands is my favorite song. And so, Sailor's Tale, The Letter, um, it's beautiful. I'll give this an an eight out of ten for you. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm glad you did that. Okay, Larry. Uh, no. Uh, number yeah. four. Uh, number four. I, I, if I had owned this album, I would never play it. Yeah. But it's, it's good. Yeah. It's, it, from what Elvis has been doing in the last 20 years, it's a good rock and album. I have a good friend who loves this album and, um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, it's a good record. Mm -hmm. I, I give it like a seven out of 10. It's just if I'm playing Elvis Costello, I'm still playing four of his previous albums. Mm -hmm. But uh, it starts off good, farewell, like the rockers. It's it's really good album. Yeah. What can I say? But it's my number four. Okay. You can have that. <sighs> I'm glad I didn't buy it. I'm still not this sure. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I yeah, know. Larry's having a hard time. Yeah. yeah. I'll go Jethro Tull Benefit at number three. He got better with every listen. The first couple of times. Uh, it's probably their heaviest album, wouldn't you say? The, Martin Barr. He should still be in Jethro Tull. He yeah. makes, I mean, Ian, Ian Anderson's great. I love his flute work. But Martin Barr with his guitar work. I love the last uh, song, Something You're a Woman. And it's just like three or four about three minutes of flute and guitar mm -hmm. like i love that uh a couple of couple of songs i don't care for like inside is annoying but overall yeah like i said it got better with every listen it's like yeah i'd buy this yeah yeah I'll, i will give this an 8.5 wow yeah i think out of the i know what do you say the first six jethro tall albums you would consider kind of classic tall yeah, this probably be my least favorite of the, of the yeah. six. Except Hatch and Play, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, but uh, interesting. Okay, next. I love Sly and Family Stone. So yep. this is third, but it's just they're just a great band. Yep. I mean, everything about these guys is amazing. 
I don't know if they could make a bad album. With yeah. it. Just the, I love it. The funk and the rock and the they just got it all together. Put every great element of music into this band. They're all talented musicians. Uh, yeah, I love this album. It, it, and this is might be their only early album that doesn't have any hits on. Hmm. Yeah, right? this is all. This is Dance like an album. The music this, was before. Yeah, yeah. This is this is like a. You're buying this to listen to an album, not yeah. not for hits. Yeah. And uh, yeah, eight out of ten, eight and a half out of ten. And yep, yeah. <clears throat> not my favorite Sly and the Family Stone album, though. Yeah. But it's great. Love it. Number two is Jimi Hendrix. I'm finally starting. I was worried because I know a lot of people out there love Jimi Hendrix, and it's like a, I, I love hit the debut album, right? I have that, but this one I've listened to before, uh, once or twice, and I, I just never could get into it. But the last couple of listens, it's like I really got into it, man. It's got some great the songs. drum. I mean everything. I also love the song by the bassist, whatever that's called. You got me floating. I yeah, think. yeah. It's cool. And yeah, uh, Spanish Castle Magic. Yeah, Little Wing is a classic. If Six was None, Castles Made of Sand is absolutely yeah, that's gorgeous. I love that one. Yeah, Axis Bold as Love is yeah. a great. Song. So this is awesome. I finally got it. nine, nine out of ten for sure. Hey, Larry, I'm proud of you. Okay, my number two. You know why they call this album Killer, Larry? Because it's killer. It's killer. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It just rocks. Yeah. That opening song, uh, Under My Wheels, is just, and Be My Love. It's, the whole album's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a great record. I love it. Yeah. And I, the live stuff was, they rocked pretty hard live. Yeah. It was, it was interesting to hear that because I've never listened to Live Alice before. And uh, I'm definitely going to buy these reissues. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard Killer for years, mm -hmm. like years. And, uh, Wow, just like I went. Wow, I I yeah. like Alice. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's a great record. That's this is. You can't get much uh, as a rock album. You're getting close to ten out of ten range here. This is nine out of ten. Yeah. Love it. Glenn, my number one is Purple, Purple Hair. Hair and Grand Hotel. Where he's turned into a Purple oh my Hair god, guy. Glenn. When when I for, I love Purple Hair. I have like five of their CDs, the early ones. But I'd never really heard this one. And, you know, I thought it was okay at first, and then I liked it. And just once again, after every listen, and now I just, like every song, it's like, oh, yeah, this is catchy and like uh, TV Caesar, is it called? It's that one I love. Just, and the, I know they have a new guitarist, it's not Robin Trower, but I love the guitar work. The orchestra, it's just so class. It's as good as all of their early stuff. So Grand Hotel, 10 out of 10. Wow, Love it. awesome. Okay, my number one, Larry, by 10 miles. The other four don't even, like, they're here, and this thing's way up and there. And this was gifted to me. I'll have to let the person know. Oh, this is one of the best jazz albums I've ever heard. Like, it just hits my soft spot because uh it's got some indian east indian influences and uh great jazz playing alice coltrane is uh john's uh widow um she plays harp and piano um there's some live stuff in here some studio stuff and i have played this album so many times I couldn't even tell you how many times I played it in a week. More I times, bought it. More times than Jane Sibbery. Oh, way more. Like, like I listen to it again. Yeah, I've listened to it every day. Yeah. Sometimes twice a day. Like, just put it back on again after I listen to it. I like it that much. I'm going to buy everything that this woman is attached to. She's turned into one of my favorites. I absolutely like 20 out of 10. Okay. One of the best CDs you've ever given me. Thank you. I would have stole it if I hadn't bought it already. All right, it's time for the CD exchange. Oh, oh, that's for another video. So hey, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Remember, subscribe to Glenn Kelly from the basement. It's the only reason Thank we you, were friends is yeah. 
so he can get more subscribers. I know. I keep using them. <laughs> Bye.